I was born in Gaza in 2007. In 2021, I turned 14 years old, or four wars old. In my short life, I have survived four Israeli assaults on Gaza. These recurring episodes of severe violence are haunting, and they are only part of the story of trauma in Gaza, where almost half the population is under age 18. Most children in Gaza experience multiple types of trauma. More than 70% of Palestinians in Gaza are refugees. That means my family was depopulated from a nearby town by Israeli forces in 1948 and never allowed to return. I carry this intergenerational trauma with me. The year I was born, Israel imposed a blockade on Gaza by land, air, and sea. I have never known freedom from this blockade or the chronic trauma it creates. As a result of the blockade, 97% of Gaza's fresh water is undrinkable. Contaminated water is a leading cause of child illness in Gaza. In 2017, a five-year-old child died after swimming in polluted seawater. 35% of Palestinian children under five in Gaza are at risk of not meeting their developmental potential due to factors like poverty and food insecurity. Two thirds of schools operate on double shifts because of classroom shortages. Is it any surprise that we protest these conditions? In 2018, my community protested to demand their right of return and an end to the blockade. Israeli forces responded by opening fire, killing 214 protesters, including 46 children. 8,800 children were injured by Israel's tactics of firing live ammunition, rubber bullets, and tear gas into crowds. Some NGOs have started initiatives to help children cope with trauma. But in 2021, 12 kids participating in one trauma recovery program were killed by Israeli airstrikes. May we be the last generation to grow up this way.